Namaste and welcome to this Soulful Ying Yoga class all about bravery to let go. Before we get started, I want to invite you to my Soulful Yin Yoga open house. So during this week from November 21st to the 28th, you have unlimited access to the open house with lessons, practices, and special workshops. So I'll drop the links below and it's free to join and you'll have a full week of nurturing classes and new lecture. So let's come to our mat and place our hands over our knees or roll your shoulders back. As you settle your mind, I invite you to ponder the question, what does it mean to be brave? And let's set an intention. Maybe this intention is to helping you step into or step out of your comfort zone and step into your bravery zone where potential and magic happens. Let's open our eyes. Come into yogic squat. In yogic squat, we're gonna have our feet more or less pointing forward, but if you wish to have it slightly turn out, that's totally fine. And as well, as you squat down, if your heels come off the ground, you can either slide uh, little towels or cushions underneath your heels. Another option is you can sit down on a bolster and then come into yogic squat. This posture really helps you release our lower back and hamstrings. And we're going to keep our hands in heart center looking forward or even slightly upward. And when you feel ready, you can close your eyes or keep them softly open. You gather in your mind anything and everything that no longer serves you that could potentially be holding you back. You're welcome to keep your hands in heart center and with your upper body tall and long or coming into surrendering variation, having your palms facing up, looking down, curling your spine. If you find your mind drifting away, joyfully invite your mind coming back to the present moment. And now let's coming onto our knees, be mindful, moving slowly. And before we come into a resting position, Put your hands behind you on the floor, fingertips either facing to the side or straight behind you. We're going to do a very gentle camel pose. Externally rotate your arms, puff your chest up, and then charge into your legs to look up. We won't be here for long. And then exhale, sitting down. Walking forward, you're welcome to extend your legs and lay down on your belly or coming into a wide-legged child's pose as a resting position.
and slowly let's roll up moving mindfully we're gonna come onto our knees and then gently bring your right leg forward and then gradually lean into your dragon position and then right away bringing your hands or if it's accessible to you one forearm or both forearms onto the ground now if this is a little bit too intense then you can stay up or put your hands on a bolster or a block here and as well you can place a blanket underneath the back knee in low dragon it helps to open our hips and in meridians it helps us to release our irrational fears by targeting the kidney meridian and slowly breathe in focusing on the vital energy coming in through the nose and exhale fear exhale all the things that are holding you back the body opens up perhaps it's just a small exhale to deepen or rest a little bit more into the pose or perhaps you're exactly where you need to be no need to change and slowly coming back onto your hands we're gonna walk your right foot to the left hip bring the right knee down and then we're going to pivot the body and then coming into half dragon fly so in half dragon fly your right knee is bent and then your left leg is long and we're gonna slowly lean to the left leg now you can rest your elbow onto your knee and if you need a bit more support put the bolster behind put your elbow arm onto the bolster your right arm can be gently pressing down the thigh to keep your hips anchored. You can also wrap your right arm up and over, place the right palm behind your head like you're sun tanning. In half dragonfly, it's a gentle side bend in this variation, helping us to release your deep back muscles. And of course, it will also stimulate the inner legs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, they said. You are a dandelion in the breeze. Look what the winds of change have done to all these autumn leaves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This big wide world is not for you. Hold on for long enough for the last gust to dance on through. So I held on, held on, held on. They said that's how you know you're strong, but not until I wilted did I notice something wrong. I thought holding on was bravery, but when winds of change do blow, sometimes it's even braver still to let go, let go, let go. I really like this poem because often we think of holding on as being brave but oftentimes is the exact opposite of letting go that truly shows us how brave we really are and let's slowly come out from your side bend and then we're gonna do a gentle forward fold, keeping your legs exactly where they are. You can put the bolster in front of you 
and you can rest your belly on top or keeping your elbows onto the bolster and support your head. And slowly let's come all the way out moving gently and slowly let's bring the leg in if you wish to windshield wipe your knees sideways releasing any stagnant energy and let's find our way onto our back for small rest When you're ready, and let's come all the way up, roll to the side, moving mindfully. And let's come back onto your hands and knees. Gliding your left foot forward, and then slowly lean into your dragon position. And then Either keeping both hands inside your left foot or gently start bringing one forearm down, maybe second forearm down. Finding the levels that suit you and you can remain calm when you're breathing. And now gently let's come back up, walking your left foot to the right hip, and then continue to pivot to come into a half dragonfly position. Let's set up for the lateral half dragonfly, having a bolster behind as an option. Rest your right arm on top. You can also put a hand underneath your head like you're sun tanning and then wrap your top arm behind your head as an option and this will increase the intensity in the side body.
and gradually let's come all the way up and then put the bolster in front of your belly if you need it and then gliding the body forward resting come into a fourfold half dragonfly Let's come all the way up. And we'll move into our resting position. You can unfold your legs, give yourself a small windshield wiping motion in the knees. And focus on your breath. Every exhalation is calming your nervous system. And let's come to a rest. Now as your last posture, stay on your back and then bring the soles of your feet together into a reclining butterfly. Now if you're feeling a lot of tension in the inner legs, then put two pillows or bolster or blocks outside of your legs to support your thighs. Place one hand over your heart and then the other hand over your belly. Your belly represents your instinct, your intuition, and your heart is listening. And then let's move into our final Shavasana. Bringing your legs together, extending your legs long, palms facing up, feet relax. Imagine your body sinking into the floor. And your heart is light and expansive. And repeat after me internally three times. I am brave enough to let go of the things that no longer serve me. I am brave enough to let go of the things that no longer serve me. I am brave enough to let go of the things that no longer serve me. Now place your mind in the right side of your heart, size of a thumb, your spiritual heart.
and gradually let's move our fingers and toes raise your arms to stretch and then gently roll to the side stay in the fetal position and let's make our way back up into seated position So thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope this class has served you into stepping into your bravery. If you enjoyed this class, please like the video and subscribe. And I hope to see you for another class. Namaste.